Wham, wham, wham. Man, you gotta love a manual transmission. Welcome to this AMS Oil Tech Tip. That's what we're talking about, manual transmissions. What's happening? Well, gears are happening down there. I'll give you an illustration. Remember when you're riding that bicycle and you got your big sprocket on a big sprocket, you're trying to go up a hill and you just can't get there. So what do you do? You shift to that little sprocket and you just pedal fast, but boy, you can get the torque to go up that hill. Well, that's how they work. You can see it right here. This is actually coming down to a counter shaft and first gear, it's a little gear driving a big gear. I'm getting massive amount of torque. Then in second gear, it's a little bigger to a bigger. I'm getting second gear. Third gear, direct drive, what's going in and what's going out. And then there's reverse right here. I just add an idler in there and it makes this shaft go backwards. Now what you're looking at is a basic manual transmission out of a pickup truck or a passenger car. You can see the counter shaft down there, the main shaft, the synchronizers, everything that's gonna get that gear reduction to get you out of there. Now on the other hand, this monster. This is out of a semi truck. This is a semi truck manual transmission land and we can achieve a ton of gears here. And I'll actually show you, you can use the same gear to achieve a ton of gears with this auxiliary here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down there and we're just gonna put it in first gear. You can see the output spinning pretty slow. And what I do is I just come out for a minute, hit that lock, which locks this auxiliary, and I go back to that same gear and we're actually in fifth gear. So that's pretty wild, man. You can do that through all the gears. This thing is massive, Len. Whether it's a small transmission or a big transmission, fluid is the key to these things. Well, fluid's the key to keeping them alive, that is for sure. They work on their own, but we this whole box needs to be filled with fluid. Uh, check your owner's manual, obviously, for what each transmission is going to take, but Amsoil's got a variety of, of different gear lubes uh, that'll lubricate these transmissions. The main thing that you want to understand is using a high quality product in these transmissions because gears are notoriously bad for oil. Anytime a gear is meshing, like you can see on this demonstrator, that oil has to go through those gear teeth, and those teeth, they want to chop that, that oil up. When we chop oil up, it gets thin, parts get closer to touching, and we get wear. Use a high quality piece, high quality synthetic to make sure that all this is protected. Absolutely. Whether you drive a semi or a Hyundai, Amsoil's got you covered. Just check out all their products at amsoil.com.